in this city, in ancient Antioch, you see the fulfillment of Old Testament prophecies of nations being gathered. We're given a little glimpse of it here in the book of Acts. You have men of Cyprus and Cyrene, Jewish Christians. But then if you look at verse of chapter 13, verse 1, you see that this church was quite diverse. Now there were in the church in Antioch prophets and teachers Barnabas. So Barnabas was a Jew from, um, had, in Jerusalem, had come from elsewhere. Simeon, who was called Niger, likely a black man from Africa. Lucius of Cyrene, Cyrene also from Africa. Manaean, a lifelong friend of Herod the Tetrarch. So somebody who had been living in the realms of power, a lifelong friend of Herod the Tetrarch, also converted to Jesus Christ and part of this church. The ancient church of Antioch is an incredibly diverse gathering, but what holds them together is Jesus Christ is Lord. And we live not for ourselves, but we live under the direction and the guidance of Jesus Christ. That Jesus brought us together. He is the one who had the word preached to us. He is the one who changed our hearts into service to him. He is the one that now defends and preserves us. Don't lose your eyes of faith in the gathering work of the church of Jesus Christ. We confess in the Heidelberg Catechism that Jesus gathers, prevents, defends, and preserves his church from the beginning of the world to its end. And yet the natural tendency of all of our hearts is to look at human work. Consider what people are doing or what methods people develop or what sermons men might be delivering. rather than seeing Jesus working throughout history, also in our time. Jesus is the one that has brought you here. Jesus is the one that has put us together. Jesus' hand is gathering his church. Jesus is at work here. His spirit is with us. He calls and empowers us to be his body in our unique context with the unique people that God's given us. And that includes you and the unique gifts that he gives to each one of us. May we purpose steadfastly to remain faithful to Jesus, seeking his will and guidance in service to him. Amen.